our flight was delayed by two hours. Yeah. But we're finally on the plane. Yeah. And then we get back to Baltimore. And then we have to drive an hour and a half back home. If you'd like to check out our Snapchat yeah. purchase, download the Spirit Airlines. See you at 4 a.m. Wi-Fi is available. You can connect. He looks so happy. Enable airplane mode. Scan the QR code on the seat back in front of you. Believe it or not. Who's a grumpy guz? Now we have to, now we have to start over because of the thing you said. Do we? Yeah, because I'm going to start it right there where I just said that. Oh, okay. So that way they know you said something weird. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're going, Cohen, get your face in here. You too, Christian. There you go. We're at Mother's for our last breakfast of the trip. We're going to have a good time. Uh, maybe take the ferry today. We'll see the city a little bit more before going to the airport and getting on home. You guys excited? I'm excited. Yes. But I'm also sad to leave New Orleans. Yeah. And we're also pretty sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> good? It's about to storm really, really bad, so we're going to go to the aquarium and just see some cool fish. Katie's going to get a cup and get, a get her seahorse. Uh, but we're trying to get in there before we get rained on and or struck by lightning. Right, Dan? Yep. Yeah. Made it just in time to not get rained on. We walked in and it started pouring outside. Very fortunate. Yeah. What uh, sea creature are you most excited to see, hopefully? Uh, turtles. Turtles? I like a turtle. How about you, Dan? Maybe some rays. Some rays. What sea creature do you want to see? Seahorses! And I'm interested in the bugs. Interested in the bugs. Oh, there's also an insectarium as well. Uh, yep. All right, Kevin, what was your favorite part of the trip? Uh, probably experiencing all the music that was here. It was really nice going around corners and seeing all the jazz that was in New Orleans and how everyone over here is just so, they have so much music everywhere, they have a culture. And where did you see God on this trip? Probably at the conventions where the speakers were talking and their stories where they talked about how they like had a rough childhood or struggled in their life they then talked about how they met God and how it really changed their life and I feel like I saw God prominently in those areas most. Alright what was your favorite part of the trip? Um, my favorite part of the trip was probably just experiencing the city 
Um, it's, it's not the first time I've been there, but seeing the whole group experience the city as well. Nice. And uh, where did you see God on this trip? Um, probably in, especially in the large group gatherings, seeing you know our group and how engaged they were with what was going on, the speakers and the music and all that it was huge. Thanks, buddy. All right, Dana, what was your favorite part of the trip? My favorite part was seeing the young people interacting with 16,000 others and enjoying the event as a whole. And the food. And uh, where did you see God on this trip? I saw God in all the people of New Orleans that we met and interacted with. They're just so lovely and kind. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Katie, um, what was your favorite part of the trip? My favorite part of the trip was seeing so many people from home cross however many miles across the country to come to New Orleans to worship God. And where did you see God at this trip? Definitely at the mass gathering, like in the arena parts. Um, just seeing all the people singing the same songs and clapping for all the... Um, the speakers applauding them. I thought that was really, really nice. Thanks, Katie. My favorite part of the trip um, was being able to experience um, the culture of New Orleans, which was the number one thing I was most excited for. So being able to see the live music and taste some of the best food I've ever had in my life was definitely probably my, best food, my favorite part. And where did you see God on this trip? Um... I saw God um, through um, the community. Um, it's really nice to just be able to go into a large space with thousands of people and just everyone is very friendly and um, has nice conversation with you. Um, so that was good. But also the worship music, seeing a bunch of people worship is also beautiful. All right, Cohen, what was your favorite part of the trip? Um, the food. And where did you see God on this trip? Probably all of what community life had to offer. I think having, having the people gather like that was a great thing to see. Thanks, Baz. Who farted during that? It was Emily. <laughs> Emily farted during Baz's recording. I don't know if you could hear it. But I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a fart noise in there during it anyway, so that way I know for sure you guys know it happened, right, Emily? No. All right, Shiloh, what was your favorite part of the trip? My favorite part of the trip was seeing like authenticity of the city. I wasn't expecting New Orleans to have like a, like the French Quarter have very um, Spanish-looking homes. I thought it would be mostly just a big city, but I was very surprised and I thought it was beautiful. I loved it. Good job. And where did you see God on this trip? Um, I mostly saw God on a accompaniment. Accompaniment day. Accompaniment day, where we helped clean up trash for the local area to help build stores for food access or quicker food access. And I just I saw it in the people that we were helping and how they were so happy and so welcoming of us and so appreciative of us. That's where I mostly saw God the most. And through myself as well, picking up trash and taking time out of my day to help someone else. So. Riley, what was your favorite part of the trip? All the food. Yeah. It was, I don't think I had anything bad. Nice. And where did you see God on this trip? Uh, helping out with the music. And then just all the people grouped together. Thanks, Riley. Alright, Christian, what was your favorite part of the trip? I think my favorite part of the trip is considering all the new foods, trying to stop this. All the food is delicious. And uh, where did you see God on this trip? I definitely saw God in like, the community like, around us, like, seeing all the youth and like, just interacting with like, all the like, locals and just like, the entire like, uh, people, like, just the entire, like, everyone like, interacting with each other, like, how like, awesome it was. What was your favorite part of the trip? Um, the news. Um, I saw God in, 
don't know, I feel like it's probably a common answer, but in a lot of the large group settings, um, seeing that many people who all believe the same things that we believe in is really cool to experience. So, Kellen, what was your favorite part of the week here in Louisiana? Um, my favorite part of the week um, is probably getting to experience New Orleans with you guys. A lot of you guys are here for the first time. Um, it's one of my favorite places in the world and one of my favorite uh, places for food in the world. So to get to take you guys to um, some great food places and introduce you to new foods and eat new cool versions of food that you might already know and just eat lots and lots of good foods uh, with my friends is definitely uh, a highlight of the trip for me. Alright, and then where did you see God on this trip? Um, I saw God in a lot of places in the community, um, in uh, learning throughout the week, both from speakers and through uh, the Interactive Learning Center and Accompaniment Day and things like that. But I think um, the biggest place I saw God in this week was in a couple of the speakers who really had powerful mes messages that resonated with me. Um, like uh, Austin Channing Brown um, talked a lot about uh, what it means to be a minority in uh, a primarily white space, which resonated with me a lot. Um, and then I also uh, really liked uh, Pastor Sally Azar's uh, message, uh, the Palestinian pastor, uh, yeah. um, the first Lutheran uh, female pastor in Palestine, um, uh, spoke to us a couple nights ago, and her message was really powerful. And the fact that she came from such a hard situation, came here to talk to us, and then is excited to return home and continue her ministry in uh, a very difficult time for their country and for her people. Um, was very powerful for me. Uh, that was a very good answer. Thanks, so. Kevin. I'm a youth director for a reason. <laughs>